For the past several years, I've been looking at the albums I've missed. But in this series, I'm going to look back at the music I heard growing up. But not the obvious stuff like Layla or Rubber Soul, just the deeper cuts. So with that in mind, here are the albums that made me. When I go round and if pop music reached its apex of sophistication in the 40s, then I say R&B reached it in that space between psychedelia and disco, so late 60s, early 70s. The stuff coming out of Motown, Atlantic, and A&M at that time was just so slick. And that includes the 1972 release from Billy Preston, Music Is My Life, an album on regular rotation for me as a kid growing up. His biggest hit, Will It Go Round in Circles, that came from this album. So did his cover of the Beatles song Blackbird. In fact, I heard Billy Preston's version long before I ever heard the original. And honestly, every song on Music Is My Life has some kind of musically inventive or enigmatic aspect to it. But the whole thing is still funky, energetic, and dynamic. Something else you might not know about this album, this is one of the first recordings to ever feature the Brothers Johnson. The standout tracks for me are Ain't That Nothing" and, of course, Will It Go Round in Circles. Final analysis. Is this an album I still like? Yeah, I do. Is this an album I still spin regularly? Honestly, it's been a minute. And would I recommend Music Is My Life? Yeah, for sure. Check it out. Birds singing in the dead of night. 